if you're looking for a way to remove this push-pull style valve, well, you've come to the right place. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And I built this little trainer right here just to show you how to take off these flow tight valves. All right, this is that push pull plastic style. I do not like these valves. All right, and over the years, I've kind of made a little system for myself that allows me to take them off without damaging pipe. Today, we're gonna be looking at taking this off a of CPVC. So come along, let's get to fix it. First thing you wanna do, make sure you shut your water off to your house. So one hope would be that you actually have enough pipe back here, at least a half inch behind the valve, so we could actually just take a saw, chop that off, and then glue on our male adapter right there. And we don't have to deal with getting this off. But a lot of times you're not gonna have that. So in that case, you wanna look down in here, identify your pipe. You wanna look down in this crack and actually see what kind of pipe you have going on there. And in our case, we can kind of see that yellow tinnish reflection with the yellow stripe on there. And we know that it's CPVC. We know that anyway, because that's what this video is about. All right, so for this, I like to use this easy stroke saw. All right, it says it cuts plastic, lead, and copper. I haven't cut anything else besides plastic with it keeps it sharp, it works really well, and it just cuts through stuff fast. This particular saw, if you can look at that saw blade, it's a little bit thicker than, say, one of these bad boys. Like, that blade's pretty thin. These little small, you know, mini hacks, they're awesome, but they do have a thin blade. This gives you a little bit thicker of a blade. I'll be able to stick my screwdriver in the holes and pry it apart. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make four cuts. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this out of our way. Next, I like to take this and just start cutting it at a 45 degree. You're gonna cut until you start to feel these little clips. And you can see by this cutout that I've made right here that we've got those in a couple of places. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another 45 degree cut on the other side, and then we're gonna chop this whole little area off. Spin that around. That's why you wear gloves. And then I will just take this and we just start cutting around in a circle sometimes helps to just go backwards a little bit to get started. Then we'll just take a screwdriver, stick it in there and give it a little twist. All right, it might take a couple of times, but it's gonna break right off. You can see that right there. We've got it to where we've got our O-ring out of there. So now the other two cuts you made, just get in there. Pop. And then the other piece is just going to be able to break right off. Just going to pop out. So now we're able to take this little piece out. It's just another little section to get all this together. I like to take my little snippy snips. Um, you might have to grab a knife to divide this a little bit. Snips. Cut. And then that pops off the next one. Snip that. This piece comes off. Guard, I don't know why this one's here. Got to make sure your uh, cover stays on, I guess. Pop that bad boy off. 
So now we'll grab a little emery cloth or a Scotch-Brite pad or some sandpaper and just kind of get this cleaned up a bit. So now we're able to do one of two things. We can take a shark bite fitting and we can push this on. This is actually a shark bite valve and you could hook this up, just push on and that's gonna secure. It's essentially the same type of valve as this. The only difference is you can actually remove these. All right, so now that this is all sanded up and you've decided you're not using a shark bite because you don't like them, I like to use this method, all right? This is a half inch CPVC male adapter and this is a half inch by three eighths female angle stop, okay? Quarter turn style, these are great. And all I like to do, Teflon, pipe dope, put this together, get this as tight as it'll go, get this all hooked up, and then all I'm gonna do is use some of this FlowGuard Gold. That's what it's called, yeah. FlowGuard Gold, all weather, one step CPVC cement. And a little bit of that on both sides, put it in there, quarter turn that bad boy to straight up, let it set for about an hour. Hot water is like six hours, but this instance, one hour. Turn your water back on to your house and then test for leaks. All right, folks, so this is how I get rid of this style of valve on CPVC, right? You're gonna see a lot of videos out there. They're gonna tell you just pull it and spin it counterclockwise and it's gonna come out. Well, I'm gonna tell you that if you do that with CPVC, there's a big potential that you're gonna break it, right? It starts to get brittle after about 10 years. It can end up being a train wreck. Downward spiral, have had it happen too many times, and I don't wanna see you get in that situation, all right? I bought a bunch of these to shoot a bunch of vi test videos. This was the first one. I'm gonna do one with copper. I'm gonna do one with PEX, and just show you how that I like to do these, right? Not the end all be all, I'm not the know it all plumber, but I like to give people good options that are not gonna end up costing you a lot of money in the end. I really hope you folks are enjoying the videos. Please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. We're just trying to help, we hope we're doing that. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.